Oliver and his brake van, Toad, liked working in the big yards, but one morning, Toad noticed that Oliver was unhappy. He decided to find out why. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Oliver. It seems to me that things are not well with you, if you forgive me for mentioning it. You're quite right, Toad. All I do is shunt these freight cars onto the turntable. I long for a nice run. It's what an engine really needs. Uh, quite so, Mr. Oliver. May I suggest that you speak to Sir Topham Hatt about your problems? But Oliver said nothing. He just grew unhappier, and he was rough with the freight cars. You're no good, Oliver. You're dangerous. We want Percy. Percy's far too busy to be bothered with the likes of you. And Oliver bumped the freight cars hard. You silly engine, shouted a workman. It'll take a long time to repair this turntable, which will cause confusion and delay. That night, Sir Topham had arrived. Oliver, you have caused confusion. I thought you could control freight cars. You shall work the mail train for a while. Maybe the night air will clear your smoke box. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, said Oliver sadly. Cheer up, old chap, said his driver. The mail train run is a grand run for a fine engine like you. Oliver smiled, but he still felt he had let everyone down. His driver took them along the coastal run with the mail train. The fresh air couldn't help but brighten Oliver's spirits. They made good speed until it was time to collect some important mail from Harold the helicopter. Come on, Harold! At last, Harold landed. Sorry I'm late, Great Western. Had a uh, bit of a problem with one of my arms. Kept letting me down when I was uh, meant to be up. You know how it is. We know that we'll be late for our first run, replied Oliver's driver. Soon they were on their way again. Ahead was a red signal light. Oliver didn't realize that the signalman had dozed off. Oliver whistled several times, but the signal stayed red. There must be something wrong with that signal. We'll go slowly and stop by the signal box, said his driver. But they never reached it the points before the signal box were switched to an old track. They were going the wrong way. Oliver's fireman was concerned. We need to find a water tower soon. Instead, they saw an old station. Disaster lay ahead. Meanwhile, Sir Topham Hatt was worried. Oliver has not returned. We'll send out a search party. Soon he was high in the sky with Harold. There they are. It wasn't Oliver's fault, sighed the driver. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad to see you are all safe. Then he saw something. It was an empty old house beside the station. He went to inspect it. When he returned, he spoke to Oliver. You have found another attraction for our island. We'll make this house as good as new, and visitors can have tea and crumpets there. Hmm, sighed Oliver. Getting lost can be interesting, but being found is much nicer, especially when it makes an engine feel really useful. <laughs> <laughs>